The Eyeball Gala is to raise awareness about the good work of the Eye Institute, and the Eye Institute as its hub is located at the Royal Alexandra Hospital, where we have a fantastic eye clinic, operating theatres, uh, inpatient services, but also we have sites for the Eye Institute at the Westview Health Centre, the Fort Saskatchewan Hospital, the Stollery Children's Hospital, and the Cates Building. In the rabbit hole, so to speak, we have virtual reality technology called Through the Looking Glass, which is a really exciting, immersive experience into a world that is a little bit entertaining, but also meant to show people patterns of vision loss. So hopefully they can understand those patterns and create some empathy for what people may go through when they're losing vision. You enter a world which is a magical world, similar to Alice in Wonderland, and then you get to select different experiences um, and different patterns of vision loss. Everyone's on time for her party. Help me set everyone's clocks. So for example, there's a pattern of vision loss, which is a pattern that starts with peripheral loss and closes in on the center, which mimics glaucoma and other peripheral retinal uh, diseases that can cause that pattern. Another is a central vision loss, very similar to macular degeneration, or what somebody with diabetes could experience. Another is a blur with some glare that people with cataract uh, or hemorrhage in the eye might experience. And so it's meant to take you through uh, the experience that somebody with vision loss would go through if the vision loss was left untreated. The Odd Fellow Rebecca Visual Research Foundation of Alberta is um, a champion of uh, visual research throughout the province. We were approached by Dr. Damji and asked if we would participate in this venture and we uh, thought that it would be a good fit with us and especially for training of the students and it's a side benefit that the patient and their families can see what is ahead for them. I think it's very important that the new ophthalmologists have good training, similar to mine under different circumstances, of course, but then but with the new technology and new equipment, I was very impressed with the with the program. I thought it, it captured really well the you know what it's what it's like to experience those conditions. I thought it was really impressive. It looked great. I think it's an opportunity for, for practice, for people coping with those kinds of, of conditions. I think it would be useful for people to understand what they're like, for sort of awareness, uh, raising awareness for these kind of conditions, particularly for doctors who maybe aren't experiencing the things their patients are going through. I think the, the sky's the limit for this kind of, kind of thing in terms of, of putting people in, in, uh, in, in the shoes of patients experiencing things. I was actually quite surprised just at how immersive it is, but until you put those goggles on and the equipment on and, and hold the controllers in your hand and go through all of that, it really is completely more immersive than I would have anticipated. It just is all encompassing all around you. Seeing is believing and being able to um, go through the rabbit hole, through this uh, game, it's just absolutely amazing, but it also gives an idea of the uh, visual difficulties that people do face. It's been a pleasure to work with KO Group. They've been very professional, very receptive to feedback, and gone way above and beyond what I would have expected in terms of developing a product uh, and being responsive to changes over time. That's super cool.